today i will start manufacturing model without shortage this is a kind of inventory model in which we are manufacturing a part that is used for the manufacture of the main part within the plant itself instead of purchasing the sub part we are purchasing we are manufacturing within the plant itself so that's why uh, uh, I, I, this term in instead of I, in in this case economic order quantity is termed as economic batch quantity because we will be manufacturing batches Econom it will be the optimum uh, quantity of that the sub part that should be manufactured so it is economic batch quantity because if we produce more than desired then it will again uh, increase our inventory cost which is not desirable so uh, first i have already covered the shortage cost in my previous uh, lecture so in in shortage cost on, uh, only occurs when demand exceeds supply and so back filling or back orders are being uh, <coughs> uh, filled so this inventory model it is a manufacturing model it's a it's a manufacturing model we can see so <coughs> so now we will draw first our x axis is the time as usual and y axis is the units or the quantity to be manufactured units and here the graph is like this it's a equated both triangles are similar here This is k minus one, and this point is a point of maximum inventory R. And this is R. <coughs> this is the time period T one. from here to here and this is the time period t2 from here to here <coughs> so manufacturing model means a company is manufacturing it, its component which is required for the main comp product within the plant itself and if suppose and the rate of consumption of item is uniform throughout the year and the uh, and the cost of production per unit is also same irrespective of the production lot sizes let's say let let small r this smaller is the annual demand of consumption of an atom annual demand of consumption consumption of an item k is the production rate k is the production rate of an item that is the number of units produced per year or the number of units produced per unit time whatever the time given to you t1 small t1 small t1 is the time required to produce time required to produce total order quantity q q at a rate k at a rate k 
here you can see that it is simultaneously it is consumed at the rate of r units per period so at a time we have the inventory of k minus r k is the production rate r is the consumption rate so inventory remaining uh, remaining is k minus r and it is the period of our uh, maximum inventory and cc cc is the carrying cost cc is the carrying cost carrying cost we know that cc is always the carrying cost per unit per period its symbol remains same and co co is the order cost per setup cost per setup if you could remember that i have in the very beginning of my video lectures i have given you the symbols of uh, different uh, cost in that i have given you the uh, symbol for carrying cost is carrying cost or holding cost is cc ordering cost i have given as co purchase cost as capital p shortage cost cs and setup cost i have also given co that means the ordering cost as well as setup cost i have given the symbol co because one is used at a time ordering cost is used when they, this is a when uh, it is a purchase model because you are ordering the ordering the sub parts to some outside vendor so that that time you are you are uh, using ordering cost but here in this case as you are manufacturing the sub part within the plant itself you will enquire the you will uh, be using the setup cost for uh, machine within the plant itself so that is the ordering cost uh, cost per setup so that setup cost i am giving the symbol co so there won't be any confusion then we have to determine the ebq economic batch quantity during the time period t1 the item is produced at the rate we can see that during the time t1 the item is produced at a rate of k unit per period and but it is simultaneously consumed at the rate of r units per period so during this period that mean during this period of t1 inventory is built at the rate of k minus units per period so if we if we multiply k minus r units into time period we will get the total inventory and similarly during the period t2 this zone the production of item there is no production production is discontinued but consumption is continued that's why you can see that inventory from the maximum it is again at the zero here in this case from the zero inventory it is rising up to the maximum as here production has stopped so it is only consumed by a, by the rate r so here it is zero hence the inve inventory is decreased at the rate of r units per period during this period so now we will compute the economic batch quantity so to produce q at a rate k at a rate k at time t1 t1 q is equal to k t1 k is the production rate at the time t1 you can make it in a box that employs t1 is equal to q by k maximum inventory level level is equal to t1 k minus of r then this is the maximum inventory we can see 
maximum inventory it is a it is a k minus r is the inventory at the at this point so multiplied by time t1 it will give you the maximum inventory now the average inventory average inventory level is equal to t1 k minus r divided by 2 as it is a average but we know what is t1 we we can put the value of t1 is equal to q by k in this equation So, it is q, q by k, it is q by k multiplied by t1, oh, sorry, t1, t1 value is q1 by k, so it is k minus r divided by 2, uh, if we just uh, um, rearrange, so it will be q by 2, if we take common 1 minus of r by k. So, this we got average inventory level. Now, we will uh, compute different cost. L number 1, let us say annual carrying cost. Annual carrying cost. Annual carrying cost we know that carrying cost per unit per year it is cc multiplied by the average inventory will give you the total annual carrying cost into average inventory so it is equal to cc into what is average inventory average inventory is q by 2 1 minus r divided by k so let's say this is equation number 1 next annual ordering cost annual annual ordering cost is equal to co into r by q it is the ordering cost for per order into the number of orders it is equal to your r by 2 r by q where R is the annual demand of consumption, Q is the quantity. So, it is, it, let it be equation number 2. And we know that if you remember the basic EOQ model, that minimum total cost occurs at the point where the ordering cost and inventory carrying cost are equal. That is minimum total cost our aim is to optimi optimize the cost that means the cost should be as minimum as possible minimum total cost occurs at the point where the ordering cost ordering cost and inventory carrying costs are equal so it shows that we have to equate equate equation 1 equation 1 is equal to equation 2 <coughs> so that employs cc into q by 2 1 minus r by k is equal to c o into r by q q square 1 minus r by k into c c is equal to 2 C zero R. Okay, that employs Q square is equal to two C zero by C C into R by R by one minus R by K. So 
if we just uh, this is q square is equal to just we have rearranged we got this much so finally if we if we take if we just give the square root so it will be our q so q we got and this q is nothing but our ebq economic batch quantity this q is e economic because we are manufacturing economic batch quantity so this is the difference between ebq and eoq eoq we are purchasing from other suppliers in, and ebq we are manufacturing within the plant itself so now we have already derived q now next is our t1 period this t1 period so and t1 t2 we will determine this is first equation we got it then t1 star i am giving star because now it is a economic batch quantity q star divided by k q we have already determined it so it is your q star divided by k similarly t2 star is equal to q star One minus R by K divided by R. And cycle time T is equal to T one plus. T two. So, this completes the or the derivation for the manufacturing model without shortage. If problems uh, comes, we can directly put the formula and get it. The main thing is that you have to first analyze the problem belongs to which model, whether it is a manufacturing model or first condition you have to identify. Whether whether it is purchase model, purchase model, or manufacturing model. This is the first question that you have to analyze. Second, is there any shortage? Is there any shortage cost involved? shortage cost involved or not so by these identifying these two points you can identify your uh, problem belongs to which model so so this completes your manufacturing model without shortage